Rudy Giuliani has said he's broke. No, he's selling that apartment worth millions of dollars in New York, but he's out of money. That's what lies and spreading them coast to coast will do apparently. And so now he's getting help, okay, from some friends who really shouldn't be involved in this if they're a real news organization. But Newsmax is indeed running a legal defense fund for Rudy, okay? Want to raise money for this American. Remember when he was America's mayor and known as a hero by some? Newsmax is running a legal defense fund for Giuliani. Recently began running on air fundraising appeals for the legal defense of this disgraced Trump attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Not only is the network urging viewers to help Giuliani, it appears to be also running his donation website directly and collecting the checks on his behalf. How Newsmax has referred to Giuliani's case, let's go through that, shall we? The charges are political persecution by a far leftist daughter of a founder of the radical Black Panthers to silence Giuliani's free speech rights. Therefore, if you believe in America, please support America's mayor. Because if viewers don't donate, Newsmax warns, you may be next. No, you won't, okay? You won't be next. All you have to do is not go coast to coast spreading lies about the election and putting people Good citizens who just volunteered like Ruby Freeman in danger. That's really all you have to do. You're not next, okay? You're not next. All you have to do, stop spreading lies. There's more. The website that Newsmax tells viewers to go to RudyFund.com redirects to a domain hosted by Newsmax, which indicates that the network will process the actual donations as well. So they're all in on this folks. This includes physical checks, which are mailed to a PO box listed on the Newsmax contact page as a mailing address. So they're actually dedicating staff to this. Who's opening the mail, okay? Who's depositing the checks? I thought there were cutbacks in TV, okay? Maybe they have more money than we know and they're taking in more dollars for this accused criminal. Support the Rudy Giuliani Legal Defense Fund. Supporters are given the option to donate between $25 and $5,000. Are you really going to do this? Who's giving to this? I wish we could see the list. $5,000. And how much money have they taken in? Hmm. Well, the host Rob Schmidt appeared to inaugurate Newsmax's fundraising push on August 31st with an interview. With fellow Newsmax host Sebastian Gorka, Schmidt decried the brutal attack on Giuliani as incredibly toxic and unethical. Hmm. For me, Rudy is one of the few true American heroes left, Gorka claimed, imploring viewers, if you believe in America, please support America's mayor. He's not the mayor anymore. A lot has happened since he paraded through the streets after 9-11 and tried to help. Hold a city and a nation together. A lot has happened since then. A lot of hair dye has run down his sideburns, a lot of it. Mitt then told viewers, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is trying to quote, send him, Giuliani, to jail for exercising his First Amendment rights and for being an attorney to the President of the United States. I don't believe he's attorney anymore. The crack team here at Indisputable can correct me, but I don't think Rudy Giuliani is an attorney anymore. I think he's been disciplined, okay? I don't know if he'll ever be able to, he can't even represent himself, can he? Well, maybe he can as a civilian. Why is it so important that viewers donate? Eric Bowling and Giuliani, tell us why. This is a pair. I can't think of a better cause, he concluded. I can, Morocco maybe. Can you donate to Morocco instead? Can you redirect the funds there? There's people who need the help. But I'll go on. When Bowling asked why it was important for people to support him, Giuliani replied that, quote, as President Trump pointed out some time ago, you're going to be next. And I was next. And now there are about 80 other people after me. 
If you are a conservative mindset, the chances of your being prosecuted in Biden's America are enormously high, he added. This is a fight for all of us. Well, that's not true either. It's not a fight for me. I'll fight for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, not this. Do you know someone who is fighting for this? And 80 people who conspired or perhaps are accused of doing such, that's not so many. When you think about how many people are in America, this is absurd. I'd like for the team to please, let's try to get some numbers if that's not proprietary to see who's giving and who the top donors were, $5,000. I have no doubt we'll have that information and we'll be able to share it with you. But I can think of a lot of things to spend $25, 25 cents, two and a half cents on. Rudy Giuliani, really? And let's keep in mind that his buddy who he wanted to catch a ride on his coattails to stealing a reelection campaign. His buddy has plenty of money, okay? Because there's a lot of suckers who are giving to Donald Trump and his you don't have the copyright mugshot memorabilia. A lot of people are giving to that, but he doesn't seem too keen on sharing any of it, does he? He doesn't seem too keen on it. I don't know what the ratings are on Newsmax or how many loyal followers they have. Megyn Kelly may need to pitch in as well. And also on her show, perhaps she can redirect people to fund Rudy's defense. And how many does he have, by the way? It's not just Bonnie Willis in Georgia. He's facing other issues. And perhaps, well, where does his divorce stand, the latest one? Okay, and the checks he has to write to the first, or was she the second wife? No matter, those who will give will give. Daft is your word of the day. Does it fit? I think so. I think so. Maybe we'll give you a couple comments because I do want to see where you all stand as we wrap up the show today. Um, we've had a lot, a lot of aggressive reporting, a lot of painful reporting too. But I'd like to hear where you all stand particularly on Rudy and maybe some others. Oh Boy, let's see what you're saying about this stuff. By the way, don't forget to pre-order Jenks book. I keep telling him I'm going to do that. I haven't been able to do it just yet, but it's already climbing the charts. Dr. Richie read it and his take was um, interesting on it because these are two great friends who have enormous respect for one another. Dr. Richie read the book, said, hey, I don't agree with everything Jenk said, but I agree with a lot of it. And this was just a beautiful case that he laid out, you know, succinct and made his case. Justice is coming. Okay, TYT friends. Libby Rich, we want to tell you, the YouTube members, thank you so much and welcome to Indisputable. Uh, this one from Twitch, Jackal Dragon 1991. Yet the parents didn't get arrested for mentally abusing their children with racism. And this refers to the story of the, uh, the young person who's accused of trying to drown his black friend, calling him George Floyd. I mean, this was really something now reported. And Dr. Richie made the case that if your child is late, truant, excessively, parents can be held responsible. But in this case, when a child who will be tried not exactly as an adult, but moving in that direction does something like this, is accused of it, parents can't be held responsible. Where do you get it from? Where does a child understand George Floyd and get this kind of racist behavior? Again, accused, parents can't be held responsible. Racist groomers are why we're like this, Ghost Dog TV says. I think you're right, and that's a good word for it, groomers. That's exactly what people are who indoctrinate their children with this kind of filth. And remember, my daughter's not listening at the table, okay? You have to be repeating this over and over again for kids to get the message. 